Hello students, so today we're going to talk about how to cite images that you find online correctly and how to make sure that you're not breaking copyright law. Now why does this even matter? So one thing I want to point out to you, so this is an article from Wired Magazine that was published in March, late March of 2019, so this year. So the Europeans just passed a new law saying that companies like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram um, can now be sued if one of their users posts an image uh, of, that is copyrighted and the person is not attributing the author or anything like that. So basically, now the big tech companies are liable for copyright issues, not just individual users. Okay, So if you're posting stuff on Instagram that you don't have the right to, Instagram could be coming after your account. Uh, now, besides that, copyright still matters uh, for personal reasons, for especially for work-related reasons. Okay, so give you a personal example. This past year, I was developing a course for an online private school, and every image that I used, I had to make sure that I was not breaking copyright law, so that the school could not be sued. Okay, uh, so basically. Uh, in school, you learn about like MLA citations and different things like that. But really, typically outside of school or outside of writing a book, you probably don't need to cite things like that. Um, the way that I'm going to show you here is the way that the lawyer from uh, the school that I worked for told me that I could cite images and follow the law without having to worry about MLA formatting and different things like that. So if you're doing a school project for your teacher or your professor, and they, you know, you're expected to follow MLA or any other Chicago style, whatever they want, then that's what you need to do. Uh, but if not, here are, is a way that you can learn to cite images or find images that you can use for personal reasons, for work-related reasons, um, without um, having to worry about breaking copyright law. Okay, so here's a fictitious assignment that I created for myself called Attributing Images. And I'm going to find images of Abraham Lincoln, the Eiffel Tower, a blue jay, and then of something called sulfur hexafluoride, uh, just for a few examples. So let's start with something called Pixabay. If you've never heard of it, it's a place where you can find images that are completely free and in the public domain. Okay, so let's look for our first image of Abraham Lincoln. So... I never choose these here from Shutterstock because you have to log in with them and sometimes they charge you so I don't even mess with that. So let's say I want to use this image right here. I like this image. The cool thing about Pixabay is that all their images are uh, in the public domain. Okay, The Pixabay license basically means they're in the public domain. They're free for anybody to use. You don't need to attribute it to anybody or anything like that. Okay. So I can use this image without having to worry about anything. So whenever I can, I just go to Pixabay. All right. So I can copy this here in my assignment or in my, you know, marketing thing that I'm doing for my business, whatever I need. And I don't need to worry. Now, if I really want to, like if I'm really stressed, I can write something like this. Okay. But again, you're not even required to do that. Public domain means it's free for everybody. Okay. Um, now let's look for things that are not in the public domain. A great place that you can look as well is this site right here, search.creativecommons.org. Now Creative Commons is actually the license that we're going to be talking about here in just a second. But um, when I go to this place here, I can search for images. So I'm going to search for an image of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, and then it's going to load some stuff for me. Uh, that people have posted and then uh, I'm just going to pick this first image here this looks cool enough now I'm going to go ahead and copy this image and paste it on my assignment here now I'm going to make it a little smaller so I can fit it all on the same page there now I need to uh, cite it. Now the cool thing about Creative Commons Search is that they give you the citation all ready to go. Okay, and here it is right here. Okay, the way the citation works in the Creative Commons license is you're supposed to put the name of the image. 
in quotation marks. So print design, Eiffel Tower, okay? And then you're supposed to write by the author or the person who posted this image, okay? And if possible, hyperlink to their website or the source of all their images, okay? Is licensed under, and then you have to put the name of the license. Now, this looks really complicated here, but I'm going to walk you through it. But basically, for the citation, I just need to click the copy button, come over here, and paste that, and I'm done. You're following copyright law right there, okay? And you don't have to worry about anything uh, as far as the law is concerned. Um, so let's go back here and explain what this, uh, this means. So these icons here are a summary of this, and I will click on this link and open it up here in just a second. But this means there is some sort of copyright. I have to attribute the author. It's not in the public domain, okay? And the author of this image has said that I cannot use this image commercially. That means I cannot use it for money. So I can't use it like on a business card on a, or on a personal website where I'm making money from that website or for my, you know, my boss's business or anything like that. I can't do that. And I have to share it exactly as it is. I cannot modify this image. So I can't just crop this bottom portion here and use that. I have to keep the thing intact for this license. Now there are different images with different licenses, okay? So I'm gonna click on this and open it up so you can see this. But here is a summary of the license, okay? So I have to attribute it, so attribution. I have to cite it basically, non-commercial. I can't make money off of it. No der derivatives, I can't modify it. Not all the images are like that, okay? And then there's more details here about what each of these things mean, okay? Uh, so that's the Creative Commons license. Now, what about almighty Google? Because we all just love Google, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do an image search here on Google, and I'm going to look for an image of a Blue Jay. So here I am, I'm going to look for the image of the Blue Jay, okay? So, oops, I typed in Pixabay, but what I meant to write is Blue Jay. I guess those words rhyme and it got me mixed up. So um, I'm, let's say I'm doing a project on Blue Jays for whatever reason, and I need to find a nice image of a Blue Jay. How do I know that, the, uh, that I can use these images or not? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Tools right here, and then it should load. My computer is being a little slow today. It's going to load something called usage rights. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me different options. Okay, it's going to, so I'm going to start here at the bottom. Labeled for non-commercial reuse. Okay, so I can reuse the image. I can't make any money off of it and I can't modify it. Labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification. I can change it somehow. I can crop it, you know, mess with the colors maybe. Um, but I can't make money off of it. Labeled for reuse, I can make money off of it somehow, uh, but not modify it, and then label for reuse with modification. I always go for this one because it gives me uh, the greatest amount of freedom, okay, um, in using the picture, and I don't have to be concerned about anything in the future. So let's say um, I like this image right here, okay, and I'm going to click on that, and what it's going to do Okay, it's going to show me this, and then I want to visit the actual site where the image is found. All right. So, um, what it's going to do now, it's going to take me to a Wikipedia page where that image originally is, because that image is from Wikipedia. Okay. Now, every um, website like Flickr or Wikipedia, whatever it is, the formatting is a little bit different, but the, all the information is there. You just have to search the page to see where it is. It's not as easy as cre the Creative Commons search that they give you the citation ready to go. You have to write your own citation, okay? So here in Wikipedia, it tells me the name of the image right here. So if I copy and paste this picture, so I'm gonna copy, and then I'm going to paste this in my fictitious assignment here. Okay. Now, my attribution, I already wrote it down without hyperlinking so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me hyperlink everything. 
But here's the name of the image in quotation marks. Okay. And I got the name right here. File dot dot gives me the name of the image right there. And then by the offer MDF. So I look for this. Okay. And when I see author right there, MDF. Now see, this is hyperlinked. So I can copy this link address and hyperlink the author's name, which is something that you should do if they have a web page that you can use. Okay. Um, my computer, oh, there, there it is. My computer is being low today. But basically, I go through, I hyperlink the name, the author's name, and the license. Okay. So I can go back here to the file and I can copy this link, go back in there, hyperlink the, that part, okay? You can write the whole name of the license or you can abbreviate it. Both ways work for you, okay? So that's one where you have to do a little bit more work where everything's not given to you. You have to actually search for things, okay? And then the last thing, sometimes, you know, I'm a chemistry teacher, so I'm looking for something really specific. And Creative Commons, Pixabay, even the Google search sometimes doesn't really lead me to images that I can actually use. So often I just go straight to Wikipedia, okay, and I look for something that I can use in there. All right, so we're going to look for uh, a molecule called sulfur hexafluoride. Look for sulfur hexafluoride. There it is, okay. So this is a molecule with an octahedral shape. Okay, so I have lots of pictures here, which is just what I wanted as a chemistry teacher. So when I look over here on the bottom, I can see sulfur dash hexafluoride dash 3D dash VDW dot PNG. So that's the file name. And I know that's in the public domain. Okay, and if I needed to, I could click here and view author information. Okay, so I could copy and paste that image. Uh, and if I want to, I can click on more details here and find out more about this image so I can cite it correctly. So that's your uh, basic lesson there on attributing the images, making sure that you're not breaking copyright law, and learning how to cite Creative Commons licenses, which are all over the place, Wikipedia, all kinds of images on Flickr, and um, all different sources on Google uh, are using that Creative Commons uh, license that you can cite very easily.